Who is going on guys? Talk Norris City here, back for another Predicted 11 video. Yes, I hope you guys are doing fantastically well. I'm back for another Predicted 11 video. I think these videos are actually my favourite ones of the week to do, except for the match day experiences and the fan cams. I love this. It gets loads of interaction in the comments. So as always, if you do agree with my team, if you don't agree with my team, uh, then please do feel free to let me know down in the comments section. That's what it's there for, to have a good discussion. Anyway, this is the team that I would like to see play against Cardiff on Saturday. It's kind of a mixture for me between um, predicting what's actually going to happen and the preferred 11. So I'm always going to get a couple wrong, but that's what I like to see. In goal, Michael McGovern. Ruddy might be fit. I'm not too sure in the injury status of players. I suppose it's good that we've had a couple of weeks off for the rehabilitation to take place and for them players who are injured to get back to fitness as quickly as possible. So McGovern in goal still. I think he's been decent uh, and I'd like to see Ruddy maybe given a few more weeks out uh, and, and get fully fit before he comes back into the team. In terms of defence... Uh, I'm going to put Ivo Pinto in at right back. I would have thought he'd be fit now. I think it was only a minor hamstring strain. Um, so that should only be a couple of weeks. And he sat a couple of games out. So he should be fit by now. And Pinto's by far our, our first choice right back. If not, if he's still not fit, then I'd put Russell Martin in there instead of Stephen Whitaker for obvious reasons. Uh, the centre-back partnership, I'm going to go for Tim Close. And Ryan Bennett, I think that's been our best sort of position so far this season. I think Bennett's really coming into his own since he's had a, a secure and established centre-back next to him rather than Russell Martin one week and Basong the next week and, you know, other, other players in and around him. So I think he's really benefited from that and, and Tim Close is just a class above. Very interested to see the reception towards him. I think it's going to be a fantastic one. Uh, I love that he was replying to people on Snapchat saying, you know, the national team manager wanted me to move away from Norwich, obviously, but I'm committed to staying at Norwich City and I want to get us back to where we belong. In at left back, um, I don't think Olsen's going to be back, so I'm going to put Robbie Brady in there. I think he's got potential. We all know Robbie Brady's a great player and I'm glad we kept hold of him. I just don't think he's a left back, but unfortunately with Toffolo loaned out and Olsen's still probably injured, we don't really have many options and it's not the end of the world that Brady's in at left back, but we know he's susceptible to mistakes. So hopefully Bennett might pull across or the left wing might, you know, pull back in to help Brady out a bit. He just needs a bit of help. You can't blame him that he might make a mistake here and there. He's not a left back at the end of the day. Uh, the midfield pairing, I'm going to keep it the same. Johnny Housen and Alexander Tete. I think they've been exceptional this season. Housen, uh, wasn't great against Birmingham, but nobody really was. And Tete is, is just a real Rolls-Royce of a midfield. He's everywhere, which is great to see. Now, the, the sort of front four uh, is where the most debate has come this season. Rightly so. We've got so many players who can play in these positions that there is going to be debate. Some people are going to want some players in. Other people want other players in. Now, let's start on the right wing. I'm going to put Sergi Canos in there. I think he's been exceptional so far this season. Really didn't expect him to really set Harrow to light like he's done. I didn't expect him to be as quick and as powerful he is. Uh, we heard great things off Brentford fans and, and some Liverpool fans, but I've been really impressed with Canos. Let's hope he can keep that up. Let's hope he can continue to get game time and let's hope he can continue to impress. In behind the striker, Wesley Houlihan. It's good that he's had a little bit of a break. I know he's played on international duty, but still not as intense as the three games a week schedule that sometimes is the championship. It's intense uh, and Houlihan can't really keep up with that now. He's 34 years old, but he's one of the, the main players in this team, the man who gets things going, the man who creates chances. Uh, even if he's off the boil, he'll still guarantee, guarantee you a couple of chances created and that's what you need in this league. So Houlihan definitely goes in there for me. And then on the left wing, I'm putting Alex Pritchard in there. He played midweek for the under-23s. I didn't see the game, but apparently he was very impressive. Um, I'd want him in there instead of Naismith. I don't think Naismith's been good at all this year. And I don't think Naismith starting would help Alex Neal's case or the team's case due to the fans. Probably poor reception towards him. So I put Pritchard in there uh, if he's... If he's fit, if not, you've got the Murphys who can go in there. You can shift Houlihan out there and put um, someone else in the middle of the park. You've got options in these areas and that's what you want. And then Jerome 
we have actually got another striker now. We've got Oliveira, but I think it might be a bit too early for him. So I'm going to put Cameron Jerome in there, who's been okay this season. You know, he scored a couple of goals uh, and hopefully he can maybe bang 20 in for us this season. That would be fantastic. But that's the team I'd go for. Uh, I suppose the main things I want to know for you, does Canos start instead of one of the Murphys? Uh, and does Pritchard start instead of Naismith? As well as that Jerome, would you stick maybe Oliveira in there instead of him? But I think the rest of the team you would probably agree with if, if I'm right in saying. I mean, hopefully Olsen and Pinto will be back. I'm sure Pinto will be, not sure about Olsen. And then it'd be great to get sort of Ruddy back and hopefully Pritchard's fit as well. So a few ifs and buts in this team, but if that team starts, it's more than good enough to beat Cardiff is just if we turn up and if we get the ball moving nicely. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, check out my match preview, which is on the channel. Hit subscribe if you haven't already for all the latest Norwich City fan content. And I will see you at Carrow Road on Saturday. Thank you very much for watching and peace out.